which was what I did. So I decided that I was going to take the third option, which was to hit the kangaroo. Hey, here's why I like to teach economics as a subject. Take a look at one of these things that students learn in economics, which is this thing called the Rational Decision Making Framework model. Now, so I'm going to tell you a story of how I use Rational Decision Making Framework in my own life, and it probably saved my life. So I was in Perth, and I was driving from this desert place called the Pinnacles, three hour drive back to our Airbnb. The road was dark, you can't see anything. There's no street lights. Hey, I can't see to my left and I can't see to my right. I was driving within the speed limit when I saw from a distance away kangaroos in the middle of the road. I gauged the distance and I figured out that I had three options. And this is where I say the rational decision-making framework kicks in. So I had these three options and I had to very quickly in like a split second assess which option I should take. Then I'm going to share you these three options right now. So option number one is to actually use the emergency brake. You know, if you are not belted and you emergency brake, then whatever that is not belted in the car will probably fly. That is the effect of emergency brake. When I consider this first option, number one, I didn't have enough information and that's, that's part of the rational decision making. My kids at the back of the car were belted because one of my, my two kids back then, now I have four kids, but back then two kids. So one of my two kids, right, is a baby. He frequently have to be brought out from his car seat to be fed his milk. I, I don't know whether he's going to be belted. I, had, I have no clue on that. So I, do I, do I want to risk having my kid fly? First option was out. Let's move on to my second option. So my second option is to swerve. I could swerve two ways. I could swerve to the left, then of course I will avoid the kangaroo. La. I could also swerve to the right. Then it means that if there's on incoming traffic, right, I'll be in danger. La. Why why can't I swerve to the left? I can't swerve to the left because it was pitch black. I don't know whether on my left is a cliff. I don't know on my left is it gonna be a tree. I don't know on my left whether is it gonna be rocks. So I have no clue what's on my left. These were all both dangerous options to take. So I had no choice, I, I couldn't take option 2 either. So what is the last option? The last option was to do very controlled braking. So controlled braking means to say that I do not slam the emergency brake, but I, I push as hard on the brake as possible such that the car brakes not very, very crazily, but more gently in a progressive fashion. Hey, but I was very certain that the third option, right, would definitely mean that I will hit the kangaroo, which was what I did. So I decided that I was going to take the third option, which was to hit the kangaroo. Right, so if you're wondering what happened, right, my entire family was safe. We did hit the kangaroo. The, the kangaroo hit, hit the car and jumped away. We did report this to the car rental firm and we did make a few calls. And that's how I thought that the rational decision-making framework was useful in a real-life situation. These are the kind of stories that I tell in my classes to help my students understand econs better. So if you'd like to learn econs in a more engaging way, you can join our classes at 